Bobby Douglas could throw it hard. He just couldn't throw it with much touch, which is part of the problem for the Bears. Um, all right, let's talk about a receiver, or let's talk about an all-purpose guy who's now in camp. Um, have you, uh, have you, has Harvin been out here enough for you to get any kind of feel where he is when it comes to conditioning and just, you know, in terms of figuring out where the hell he is? Well, you know what, he's uh, up against it from those four, four uh, practices he missed. But, you know, I think we saw that in the spring um, that... You know, he has explosive components to him, and and, uh, he has decent recall uh, in getting on the field yesterday right away. Um, But it's it's the reps thing where you're not thinking, you're reacting what's going on in defense as opposed to thinking about those lines that are drawn on on the playbook. Is it it fair to expect, you know, a lot of people see the highlights of what this kid can do, and you obviously, you guys have looked at that and said this could be a great added component to this offense and maybe even to special teams as well. Um, is it fair? I, I, but I think a lot of folks are projecting, fans are, well, no, by the start of the season, this guy could be a major cog, another major option to this offense. Is that realistic? Well, he can be a cog. Uh, we'll just see if he can be a, a major cog. Um, he's, he's probably going to get touches within the special teams area. Um, he has those skills and abilities to be able to do the return game. Um, and then you find ways to get the ball in explosive playmakers' hands. And, and uh, while we only have one, um, there's a number of playmakers out there. So, you know, everyone is useful. Uh, whether it's the tight end, Shanko, or Barian, or Sidney Rice, or Bobby Wade, or Percy Harbin. Defensively. This defense is classified, most people I think feel as a top 10 defense, maybe top 5 depending on your point of view, um, with a lot of veteran people coming back. What what do you want to see this defense do even better than it did last season? You're, you're a goals guy. You're very much a goals guy. What do you want to see it, as good as it's been, do better in 09? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, Leslie's very clear about that. You know, we talk about scoring on defense all the time. And uh, to be able to do that, you got to be able to take the football away. And so, you know, I, I would probably tell you um, more takeaways, uh, with, be it interception, uh, strip sack, uh hits and fumbles raking the football in a pile um and i know our guys would love to take it away more so that that's something that they got to start with we're always going to start with stopping a run and uh defending there final question for you we've not had a chance to talk since the news broke about a guy you know well uh jim johnson former eagles defensive coordinator um you knew what he was battling i just wanted to talk to you a little bit about that what you knew what just sort of your remembrances of of, of him and just what a incredibly a tragic story that whole deal was yeah it was you know jim was always a guy he was 68 years old and and uh, he always talked about you know i'm not going to do this forever um and i can remember him saying that back in uh, 1999 and and uh he was a man's man he met his uh wife when he was a freshman at the university of missouri she was going to st mary's so they've been married since they were 19 um, so, obviously, your thoughts are with Vicky and uh, and his family. Um, but easy to laugh, had seen it all, uh, had a great way about him, you know, never too down, um, never too high. Uh, been in football all his life, coached every position on defense, was an extremely good quarterback at Proviso East High School ah. in Maywood. So we always used to talk about Chicago pizza and which ones he liked and he was a Lou Malnati's guy and a home run in guy by the way um, hard to stop those two no hard to top those two I see your mouth water a yeah a little bit, bit. yeah it's part of the problem oh, this might be perspiration on the top of my lip too as well but he was really a tremendous guy and, and um, you know the game will miss him and I know the Eagles will miss him and uh, just wish the best for you and, and uh, Vicky and the family. As we wrap up, thanks again for the time. I'm, I'm sure we'll chat as uh, we get closer to the regular season. And you're so you're saying leave my just ner- you're you're comfortable a QB. I, I should leave my nervousness about this position to the side. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, and it, you know if you get nervous and you're feeling bad about it, these are uh, oh. these are have, have a little sniff for that. Oh, jeez, <laughs> um, man, that's a. Uh, That'll wake your your butt up. Yeah, those are those are things where if guys feel a little queasy when they come to the sideline, oh, or, like or, the, or the kickoff team needs to run it's down, nice and rush, do a good. Well, this is one of the things that I held in my hand as I walked my daughter down the aisle, <laughs> and uh, and uh, she started to cry, and I 
uh, um, my wife asked me to bring a couple of those home, and, and so I popped one of those. I said, you know what that is? And she goes, no, as she was crying before we walked down the aisle. I said, well, here, let me show you here. And she goes, oh, that stinks. I said, but you can't cry, can you? No, it works. Uh, 35% alcohol, 15% ammonia, and that ammonia. Thanks. So you're going to be an extra one. So if you start to fall asleep on the air, well, you know, you can go that's ahead and from take, time to take time. a whiff of that. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the help. I, 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 it's good to know that you're always thinking of us. Always thinking we of you. We appreciate that. Thanks, Brad. Brad Childress, head coach, Minnesota Vikings. We'll...